Hi, my name is Eric Boxley and I'm a counselor at Sienega High School and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you might talk to your parents about mental health. So if you're struggling with mental health, you don't have to do it on your own. Just like if you had a physical health problem, you would want to talk to your parents or your trusted adults and get a team of doctors to help you. The same goes with your mental health. Lots of kids ask me, how do I talk to my parents about mental health? And oftentimes kids are worried that their parents aren't going to understand or their parents aren't going to react in a positive way and that maybe that their parents don't care. But the truth is, is that almost always parents really care and want to know the truth about what's going on with their children when it comes to mental health. The problem is, is that they don't always know what to do. And so their reaction might not be exactly what you would hope it would be initially. But if you ask the question and have the conversation, your parents are almost always willing to get you the help that you need. So if you have a parent that you don't think would listen or for whatever reason, you don't feel like you can go to your parent, just remember, you don't have to go through this alone. You can find other trusted adults in your life that you can talk to. Sometimes those trusted adults might be a teacher or a coach or a counselor. Um, they might be an aunt and uncle or a grandma or grandpa or a friend's parent. Just remember, there's always an adult that you can talk to about really important things. So when you go to approach your parents, just know that there might not ever be a perfect time, but kind of be mindful about having a best time. And a good way to do that is to maybe ask your parent, hey, mom, dad, or whatever trusted adult that you're talking to, I'm kind of worried about something, and would this be a good time to talk? And if not, when might be a good time to talk about something? And once your trusted adult is ready to listen, be really specific about what you're worried about and what you're concerned about and what your experiences are. You wanna make sure that you communicate clearly to your trusted adult what's going on with you. So having a conversation with your parent or trusted adult is a great step. Just remember, it might not always go so great. I know for me as a parent, my initial response is not always my best response. So I want to encourage you to be patient and to be persistent, but continue to talk with your parent or trusted adult. At the end of this activity, you will be provided a link that you and your parent or trusted adult can go to to get free counseling.